Hey, Tony. Hey, what's up? Nice view up here. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? What hole are we uh, playing today? We're on hole 18 at the Silverleaf Club in Scottsdale, Arizona, my home club. Besides this one, what's the most nervous you've ever been on a first tee in your life? <laughs> yeah, well, the, the most nervous, uh, I'd have to say, probably teeing it up with Tiger in the 2018 Masters. I was, I, was, I was quite nervous, and once that tee shot went off, I was, I was pretty good after that, but I was quite nervous. How about what's the worst tee shot you've ever hit in your life? Ooh, the worst. I was playing a junior, a junior golf event, and my first tee shot, I was trying to drive the green, so I waited 15, 20 minutes for the screen to clear. And, you know, a bunch of people started gathering around like I was going to drive the green, and I ended up driven it right off the, the end of the tee box. I hit it about 15 yards. Perfect. On that note, let's see you send it. All right. What's your favorite pre-round breakfast? Yeah, Are you just admiring? Do. <laughs> yeah, that'll yeah. do. Pre-round breakfast, oatmeal and peanut butter. Oatmeal and peanut butter? Yeah. All right, let's go catch up to that ball. Let's do it. It's going to take a while to get there. Are you a little more careful walking off tee boxes after uh, what happened at the 2018 Masters? <laughs> I would definitely say yes, I am. No question. Uh, what's the longest drive you've ever hit? Ooh. My brother and I both hit it at the same time, uh, over over 500 yards. 500, about 520 yards is in Utah. 520 yards? Because in Utah, I was playing a par five, and I'd say maybe a club and a half to two club downwind. And I sent this drive right down the middle of the fairway, and, and I jump in the car with my brother, and we both head down the fairway. And, and we get up to about where we feel like it should be, and it's not there, and so we drive up a little further. And, and we start panicking, like, man, where did our balls go? And looking around, and we look up in the distance, and both of our balls are right. You know, I was on the front of the green, and, and my brother was like on the middle of the green. So we both drove, drove a par five in Utah over 500 yards. Ridiculous. What's your most irrational fear? Oh, snakes for sure. No question, snakes. I hate snakes. Um, just things that don't have arms or legs and that move. Is that slither slithering? Just, you don't like the slithering? Uh uh, I ain't about that. What's your uh, guilty pleasure? Uh, chick flicks, romance movies, for sure. Um, you know, I, I don't know if I come across as one, a guy like that, but I, any any chick flick that comes out, this is how bad it is. When I go on, when I go on iTunes or iMovies and I click in romance movies, the first 60 or 70 on the list, I've seen all of them. So there's really not any any romance movies or chick flick that I haven't seen, so rom-com. So there's nothing left. There's you nothing have like left. A number just, one? Just, Do you have a clear just, number one? Just the new stuff. Uh, a clear number one. I, I probably have to go with my best friend's wedding. I know that's old school, Julia Roberts, but um, my wife and I kind of kind of fell for each other watching that movie. So that's gonna that's a pretty good one on my list. You so. got 181 front, 186 middle. Okay. What's your club here? I've got a seven iron. Yep, that's pretty much right on that number. So, all right, let's see it. Thoughts while it's in the air? Yeah, just right of it. I think it's going to be pretty good. Woo. Yeah, we'll take that. All middle, right, middle of the green. Middle of the green. We're going to have about 20 feet for birdie. Uh, give me a one sentence scouting report on your brother Gipper's golf game. <laughs> Well, really long, first of all, and uh, I would say streaky. Yeah, streaky. He can shoot 65 and he can shoot 77. So I think that's a good thing, but uh, I think a little bit of consistency will help his game, no question. What's your favorite memory from being on the big break? Oh, yeah, just hanging with my brother and being on a cool show together. You know, my brother's, you know, still one of my best friends, but for sure my best friend, uh, you know, until we both pretty much got married but uh, to be able to enjoy that show with with your best friend and and just to have that memory for a lifetime was really special for us what's the one question you're most sick of answering from the media um well it was ankle it was how's your ankle but I think that's starting to die down and now it's you know when are you gonna win next so when are you gonna win next I love it um, next week you know? right. yeah <laughs> I, I always, I'm a, I, I have a lot of faith and I just, I'm always hopeful, you know, and, and I think that's why I am where I am. You know, I feel like I've done a lot of good things and I've given myself chances and I gotta keep doing that, so.
you know, next week, why not? What actor would play you in a movie? Oh, well, my adult version, Will Smith, for sure. Yeah. Um, as a kid, I'm not, I'm not sure, but I'd say I'd say Will Smith. What's the first golf event you ever watched? The 1997 Masters. Yep, a guy named Tiger Woods won. Is that uh, <laughs> why you became a Nike guy? Yep, why I became a Nike guy, um, and just you know, a, a huge inspiration of why I'm a golfer today, for sure, and play on the PGA Tour. How do you like your steak cooked? Medium rare. Yep, no no doubt. Anything, and and more on the rare side. Anything cooked more than that, I think is. Uh, is a dead piece of meat that's too cooked. What's your favorite place uh, to be alone and just think? Yeah, just just at home. Yeah, just at home and um, you know hanging out, hanging out with my wife and and just enjoying time together. You know, I <laughs> I don't have that much time alone these days. With, you know, with four young kids and um, and and you know playing quite often. But I love just being home on off weeks and enjoying time with my family. I understand you can juggle a little bit. Uh, fire knife dancing, yes. Um, I enjoy, I, I, before I could play any sport or learned how to play any sport, my mom taught me how to do, a, to do the fire knife, so I'm more in fire knife dance, and, and that's definitely something that's pretty cool for me. I can flip around a stick um, pretty, pretty good. Is that something you've passed along to your kids at all yet? Yeah, my son, yeah, my oldest son, Drace, I taught him, taught him some tricks, and uh, he's starting to pick it up. He's, he's such a good kid, and uh, he's super athletic, so I'm excited about his future. Do you have any superstitions? No superstitions. I'm probably the least superstitious person you'll ever meet. Who is the most questionable style on the PGA Tour? Ooh, questionable? I'd say Ian Poulter. I'd say Poults. I see some of, some of his outfits back in the day, and they're super suspect, no question. <laughs> uh, you're the PGA Tour commissioner for a day. What's the first thing you change? Yeah, I think the number one rule everybody's been talking about or thing everybody's been talking about in the golf world is pace of play. Um, I got this from Jack Nicklaus. I think we should play 15 holes and four rounds of 15 holes make a 60 hole championship. I think that's plenty of holes to determine a true champion. And 15 holes instead of 18 is an easy way to, to help with pace of play. You're, you're guaranteed to play less in less time. How long does it take you to play 18 when you're practicing by yourself? Who? If I, the, the thing is for me, I play a lot of balls. I hit a lot of shots and I kind of just wait for somebody to creep up on me and then I go. So um, not very fast, but I could play 18 holes in a cart by myself probably in less than two hours. You like putting with the pin in? No, I don't. I like putting with it out. If the pin's 80 feet away, I'll, I'll leave it in just so I can see it. Um, but anything, if I can't, you know, if I can see the hole, then I'm taking it out, no doubt. What was your worst subject in school? Ooh, probably science. When I read a green, the best place to read the green from is from below the hole, no matter where your ball is. Um, so for me, that's the other side of the hole. And I saw, from the other side of the hole, I saw this ball moving a little to my left. So with those calculations, it's a little downhill and moving a little to the left. Um, we'll try and dial, dial this thing up. And you still get nervous over putts? Try and make a birdie. Yeah, for sure. Certain situations, but um, you know, you're a highly trained professional, so you try and overcome those things. Hit a pretty good one. Man, whoa, that was right whoa, in the it was heart. on a good line. A little bit more speed. I don't think they cut the greens this morning. <laughs> That's right, that must have been it. <laughs> Go ahead and tap this in, and we'll take our four. All right, you just finished off your first ever major championship. Who do you celebrate with, and what is your celebratory meal? <laughs> uh, Definitely some sushi. Sushi is my favorite food, no question, so definitely celebrate with sushi. And I just got all my, my family, my friends around me. The other people that have been supporting me for, for many years, so it'd be, it'd be quite the moment. All right, you can get that expensive sushi. That's Thanks, right. Thanks, Tony, for playing a <laughs> hole with us. Thank you.